In this video, I want to share with you 10 things that I personally know to be true about the franchising industry. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. So my name is Kim Daly. I'm a franchise consultant. And for the last 20 plus years of my life, I have been helping people explore franchise opportunities by aligning their background, interests, skills, and goals to some of the best franchisors out there today. So if you get inspired to begin your own process to explore franchising opportunities, and you would like Kim Daly to be your franchise consultant, then please stay tuned to the end of the video where I will share how you could be my next candidate. Okay, so let's have some fun and let's talk about 10 things that I know to be true about franchising. The first thing I know to be true is that franchising is an industry of people helping people. This is what attracted me to this industry and lured me away from my life's path of going to medical school. When I came into the franchise industry and saw how every single day franchisors and suppliers to the industry are working together to help people realize their dreams. I was like, is there a better place on earth to be than in the franchising industry? And no doubt the vast majority of people who are in franchise development or who are supplier to the industry, no doubt the reason they stay is because this is a very infectious industry. When you're around people who are living their dreams or who are inspiring other people to live their dreams, you can't help but want to become a better person and live your own dreams. So if you have been out there in a W-2 world where in the industry you're in, it doesn't feel like that, I want to welcome you into the franchise industry where maybe you can wake up and be realizing your dreams one day. The second thing that I know to be true about franchising is that anyone with the will to succeed can wake up, own a franchise business, and go on and live the life of their dreams. Now, that is a very bold statement, so let me put some qualifiers in there. What I mean by that is you don't need an MBA. You do not need prior business ownership experience to be successful in a franchise, but what you do need are big, clear, specific goals motivated by a deep internal perseverance. Because sometimes building a business takes longer than we thought it was going to. Sometimes business ownership is harder than we wanted it to be. But if you have that driving motivation that says, I will persist, and you connect that to the dream for the ultimate freedom and control that only business ownership can afford, then I know that you too can go on and realize those dreams through a franchise system. The third thing I know to be true about franchising is that franchisepreneurship trumps entrepreneurship all day long if making money is the reason we want to build a business. <laughs> so again, let me qualify that statement by saying that the easiest people to convince of the true value proposition of a franchise are former entrepreneurs, just like Kim Daly. For most entrepreneurs, right? If you started a business from scratch, you know that is the hardest way to business ownership. You're all alone. You don't know what it's going to cost. You don't know how long it's going to take. You don't know what you don't know. And so you're making it up as you go and you're on an island. There's nobody to vet ideas off of. There's nobody to say, hey, what are you doing when this happens? But all of that hardship goes away when you walk into the franchise industry. So what I know to be true about franchisepreneurship is this is business for yourself, but not by yourself. You have a proven plan. You're not reinventing the wheel. You're buying down that learning curve by partnering yourself with people who've built this business in their market and they can teach you and they can coach you and they can support you. And that mentorship is so valuable to the success of your business. Take hard times like pandemics or recessions. How many entrepreneurs get stuck? They don't know how to work their way out of it. Sometimes they don't even know how to get out of their own head and move past their own head trash. But when you're in a collaborative environment where there's hope and there's faith and there's expectancy, 
There's a greater desire to figure out how to make this work. And that's what a solid franchise system will afford you in addition to buying down that learning curve by buying into that proven business model. So all day long, if making money is the goal of owning a business and wealth is created through scale in a business, franchising wins over entrepreneurship every single day of the week, according to Kim Daly. The fourth thing that I know to be true about franchising is that franchisors are not perfect. <laughs> so if you're out there exploring a franchise or thinking about becoming a franchisee, please offer your franchisor a little grace. Now, I know you're investing your life savings and there's no room for grace. Trust me, I get it. But we have to back up and say, look, franchisors are in this for your success. They really are. The good ones want what is best for you. Even if the decisions they're making, you're not yet smart enough to understand how that benefits you, somehow it has to benefit you. And the franchisors are humans. <laughs> they're humans trying to solve the problems of a business, which are ever-changing. It's a dynamic environment, right? Trying to solve the problems of a business. Businesses are dynamic environments. They are ever-changing. And so these franchisors may be encountering a problem for the first time. So yes, you are investing in a proven business model. It's proven to a point. But as a business model must adapt and grow and change according to the consumer and the economy and the market and all of these things, the franchisor has to be continuing to adapt and grow and potentially is solving new problems in your business model. So remember that they're humans helping you to build a business. We're all humans trying to do the best we can for each other. I want you and your franchisor to be on the same side of the table in a conversation, not on opposing sides. It's you and the franchisor, not you against the franchisor, but give them some grace, allow them to grow. You're not perfect either. So don't expect them to be. The fifth thing that I know to be true about franchising is that the success equation in franchising goes like this. Success equals 20% strategy plus 80% mindset. <laughs> so that franchise fee that's buying down the learning curve of starting a business is only giving you in a rough approximation about 20%. And actually, I think that's a little bit generous. Most personal development coaches will tell you that strategy in life is 5% of the equation. 95% is how we think, how we talk, and how we act. And this is really the whole point of Kim Daily TV, to help you get dialed into the mindset that drives success in a business. There are principles governed by the laws of the universe that govern success. Franchises are not exempt from those laws. Franchisees are not exempt from those laws. You must learn to use the laws of the universe if you want to be successful. So how you think, how you talk, and how you act plays a much greater role in the success equation of your franchise than that franchise fee that you're paying to buy down the learning curve of starting a business. What am I actually saying? That you as the franchisee have a lot of ownership here. I wanna teach you how to own it. I wanna be your mindset coach in addition to your franchise consultant. But in this video, I basically wanna point out to you as one of the things that I know to be true about franchising, that you have all of the power like this to change the results of your business by changing your focus, by using the laws that govern the universe, the driving principles of success, attitude, perseverance, will, clear goals. You know what they are. They're the same things that drive success in anything in life. We apply those to this equation in a franchise. And ultimately, that's what leads you to success as a franchisee. The sixth thing that I know to be true about franchising is that when you combine a powerful leadership team in a franchise to carefully vetted franchisees and together the leadership of the franchisor 
and the partnership with those franchisees, you come together, working together to solve the problems of the business, that it is together that you can build the next big American franchise brand. Look, as consumers, we love franchises. Why? Because we know what to expect. Well, how does a business get to that level? It's because franchisees and franchisors are working together to accomplish a single goal. And that goal is created and led by the franchisor and inspired by the franchisor and their leadership. But it is carried out by franchisees and your ability to follow the franchisor's leadership. The seventh thing that I know to be true about the franchising industry is that while the government regulations in franchising are often annoying and incredibly time consuming, they are absolutely essential. The government regulation over franchisors is what separates the franchise industry from distributorships, licenses, and business opportunities. It's what makes franchising a safer investment for you, the potential franchisee. So, Yes, it's annoying sometimes how long it takes state governments to get these FDDs filed. However, the information contained in that franchise disclosure document makes this investment better for everybody because it holds franchisors to standards that if they're going to say it, they're going to put it in writing. And why would you want to believe them if they weren't going to put it in writing? And it holds franchisees to standards that if you're going to be a part of our brand, this is how we're all going to play together because these are the brand standards that we're going to deliver in our local towns and cities and communities. That's the purpose of the regulation, to control what everybody's doing so together we can be better and your investment can be safer. So yes, it's sometimes incredibly annoying and time consuming, but we wouldn't be the industry that we are today without that government regulation. The eighth thing that I know to be true about franchising is that because people dare to take a risk on themselves and invest in their own future by saying yes to franchise businesses, that all over the country, really all over the globe, there are customers who get to walk into local small businesses that have innovative products and amazing services and inspiring environments that make us as consumers want to spend our money. And that money creates a global economy. And because these franchisees are opening businesses in local towns and communities, they are creating jobs, jobs that are helping to put food on the table for local families. So the idea that we are coming together as franchisors and franchisees to build the next big American brands, the next big global brands impacts everybody all the way down to the consumer. The franchise industry creates millions of jobs. The franchise industry adds millions of dollars to the total economic output. And the franchise industry serves millions of people around the world with its inspiring and sometimes innovative products and services. The ninth thing that I know to be true about franchising, and I learned this one way back in the beginning in my very first job in franchising, the job that I answered a classified ad for, and the job that changed everything about the trajectory of Kim Daly's life. That CEO taught me this. And now after two decades of being in and around franchising, I have lived this and I 100% know that this is true. And that is that in good times and in bad times, the franchise industry thrives. So what people invest in will change. But the idea is that in good times and bad, investors are looking for opportunity. So if the economy is good and thriving and people want more of that American dream, they're investing money to build wealth. If the economy is bad and the stock market is unstable and their jobs are unstable, People are looking for freedom and control and stability, and they turn to themselves and to business ownership by buying down that business ownership curve, by partnering with solid franchisors. So in either case, good times or bad, the franchise industry is thriving. Now, having been in and around franchising for over two decades, I will tell you this is 
100% true. So I have never seen my business go down. It's continued to go up and up and up, regardless of the recession, regardless of the pandemic, even my business has continued to thrive. Again, what people invest in, their motivations for investing will change. But at the end of the day, there are people who will find opportunity in a hard time. And there are people that are looking for opportunity to build the American wealth dream. And the 10th and final thing that I absolutely know to be true about franchising is that the franchise industry has completely changed my life. And I believe that it can change yours too. If you've watched this video to the end and you are inspired to begin your own journey to learn about franchising, to see, is this the right next path for me? Then I want to be your franchise consultant and your daily coach. Please follow the link in the description below so that you and I can open up that conversation and have that right away. Because I really do wanna help you see what I see about the franchising industry, I 100% know and believe that if you have a big, clear goal and you are determined to be successful, that if you find the right franchisor partner who can help you buy down that learning curve and partner you with other people so that you can work in this collective, collaborative environment that is a franchise, that one day you can wake up and not just be dreaming the dream, but find yourself smack dab in the middle of living that dream.